Travelers were left in the dark at Austin's airport this morning because of a complete power outage. It was a strange scene, lasted for several hours, causing delays for a lot of travelers today. KVU's Darinisha Heron joins us from the airport now where things have quieted down a bit, Darinisha. Quito, Brian, things here at the airport has improved, but check this out. Scheduling is still a mess. Multiple flights were canceled or delayed because of this power outage. And now that some of the passengers here are clearing out, many people are wondering how did this happen? Just a glimmer of light guiding travelers through the largest power outage at Austin's airport. It was pretty bizarre because all you know, all the lights were out. I'm a little frustrated, but I guess we all could use some time to think. Including Austin Energy. It took them three and a half hours to restore power to the airport Wednesday morning. And during that time, traffic stacked up as Austin police shut down roads nearby. My flight is canceled to tomorrow. Austin Energy says the outage happened with no warning. Crews had to go underground to the energy system and fix a short circuit fault. It should not happen that way. Saria Santoso is an electrical engineering professor at UT and says this particular equipment is known to fail if it's not maintained. Usually that is also the weakest part of the cable at the elbow, at the joints. So perhaps um, more proactive maintenance could be, could be done. AUS says the airport's backup generators did not turn on automatically, but UT professor Joshua Rhodes says all critical infrastructure like hospitals should have multiple grid connections to avoid these situations altogether. So in case one goes down, that it can still operate with the other, but that doesn't appear that's the case necessarily with, with the airport. Austin Energy says there are multiple power fees to the airport and multiple agencies are investigating to make sure travelers don't get left in the dark again. We know that 90 flights were canceled here today and airline officials say that it was up to customers and rather airport officials say that it was up to airlines and customers to, to figure out their next steps. Now, the good news here tonight, Queen and Brian, is that we know that some of the people we spoke with were able to have accommodations made in some way. So that's the good news. That is definitely good news for them. Darren Heron reporting for us from Austin's airport. Thank you, Darren